Don't bring your car to a uh, rodeo. But like, like in the words of Kenny, don't bring your car to a fucking rodeo. That's what he said to me in the studio. When, when we were doing this, uh, cutting this record, I was in the studio and man, the funniest thing was we were, we were trying to, um, I was talking to Janae and John and, jo and John about like just rodeo stuff and it was cool because we were like, uh, I told them the story behind the song and I was like, they're like, cause I was like, they're like, so what is the energy like? I was like, well, you know, I'm looking for these kind of like licks and this and that because I want to bring like energy to these certain parts that are just like certain lyrics. And I had to tell them the story. I was just like, so what happened was, all right, so there's this, this rodeo back in Florida called, the, it's at the Ocala Rodeo. It's at, a, uh, at the Shiners, uh, Shiners Rodeo. It's right off of Northeast Jacksonville Road in Ocala. They had this event there. It is like, I want to say it's like seven, eight years ago this happened. Yeah, because I, I had a 2013 Ram 1500 on these like 37 and a half, you know, mud tires, toil mud tires with a six inch like lift. I parked in the pasture outside the arena and my truck was like sitting there on the corner. And yet these like little dirt, like, you know, man-made kind of trail things or traffic trails over there. No like physical road, right? So we go to rodeo, having a good time, this and everything. I remember that I left after rodeo was over and I go back in my truck, get everybody in, we all, we all loaded up. I back out, as I'm backing out, this fella in the Chevy Malibu, like literally, I'm going like this, right? I'm trying to do like a three point turn. And this cat comes over here and he's like, Phew. he's right there, like right here on me like this. I look out the window and my dad's like, what are you doing? So I'm gonna tell this dude, cause I'm like, we're going. I look at him, he's like, he's like, I'm going. He's like, I'm like, uh, what do you mean you're going? I said, I'm going for it. He's like, no, you're not. He's like, I'm fucking going. I was like, okay, hold it. Muffs, muffs, we got kid ears in the truck, you know? And I was obviously a hypocrite to that because I wanted to run in my mouth after that. So it was like, I'm sitting here being, you know, I'm sitting here saying, in my head, I'm like, oh shoot, can't be cussing. And then who starts cussing? So he comes up, so I give him one warning. Second warning, I come back and tell him, I'm like, look, dude, you need to settle down, pal. Like, I'm coming, we're going out, that's it. This dude has the audacity to roll forward in his Chevy Malibu and he bumps. Now, I'm not, I'm not just saying like, just rolls up, like he bumps and hits the tire on my dad's side on the passenger side of the truck. And when he connected, that was it. Like, that was over. And I was like, gave you two options. You didn't like option one. You didn't like option two. You tried to strut and peacock on me here. So I'm about to fuck your life up. And that's what I did. So I cut my wood to the left. My dad's like, what are you doing? I said, just drop your seat back. And he leaned back just a slight bit. And I looked over, I said, well, I said, you shouldn't have done that. I said, you're done. Cut left, cut back right, put it in gear, drop up, and I literally climb up on the top of the hood of this son bitch's car. And I literally drive up on the top of it. My tire's on his hood, and I'm looking down at him. He's like, you're on my fucking car, you piece of shit, blah, 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 blah. He said, you're damn right I'm on your car. And I said, I'm gonna rip it right off too. And I went, vroom, and I, and I hit the gas, drove over the front end, ripped the front end of his car off. Done. It's sitting there, it's under the, it's bent down, it's under the undercarriage. I drive, I'm leaving. And I get to the front, I park on Northeast Jacksonville Road, I get on the side, I'm on the sidewalk, and I put my hazards on. And they're like, what are you doing? I said, I gotta go talk to the officer, because I ain't leaving here without telling them what I did. I go up to the officer, sheriff deputies are all sitting out there. I said, hey, listen. I said, I want y'all to know, I said, this, this dude was in here. I have four people in my vehicle, I got witnesses. I said, but he cut me off. I gave him a warning twice. He didn't listen. He rode into me intentionally. And then so, I ripped his front end. He's like, what do you mean you ripped his front end off? I said, well, I basically climbed up with my passenger, my front tire on my passenger side, up on the top of his hood of his car. And I rode down the side to get in front of him and I ripped the front end off. So meanwhile, while I'm sitting there like this, this cat's going, He's driving up to the front. You know he's coming. He's like, he's like, 
He's like dragging. The, the, the front end is like caught up under the undercarriage. He come up there, I tell the officer. He runs up to the officer. Do you see what he did to my car? He destroyed my car. My front end, it's hanging down, blah, 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 blah. You get, he gets a ticket. Officer's like, looking at his car. He goes into his car. His cock, like his cockpit of his car, um, this console, they have the, 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 the police uh, computer. Yeah, the computer is off. And he's like, my computer's already off for the evening. I'm, I'm done shift, I'm going home. My wife, she's at the house, the kid's about to go to bed. I need my supper, I'm hungry. He's going back, he's looking at me, I'm looking at them. I didn't get in trouble. He's like, well, he needs to get a ticket. He's like, I can't give him a ticket. He's like, what do you mean you can't give him a ticket? I said, son, you don't understand? I said, this is private property, pal. Like, this ain't like in the road. We weren't on asphalt, we weren't coming down, you know, the black, Black Bear Scenic Route in the forest on 40 or something like, and we got in a collision. You impeded on me, and your old lady ain't gonna sit here and tell you you didn't because she's gonna clearly tell because she was in the car when you hit me. So I said, I was just gonna let you learn a time or two. That's all that was. They do guys, the two deputies in the back were cutting up laughing. He's like, well, what am I getting? He's like, you can exchange vehicle information. That's all you can do. I walked away, no ticket. And, uh, and I told him, I said, you know, you might want to get yourself a one-way one -way ticket out of town, pal. Because I saw he was from Indiana. I was like, you need to take your Hoosier ass back up there. <laughs> and, uh, man, it was funny, though, man. And I was like, don't bring your car to a fucking rodeo. <laughs> don't bring your car to a fucking rodeo. Don't bring your car to a fucking rodeo.